Welcome to another episode of Badlands Rack Attack. We're coming to you, as always, from Badlands headquarters here in West Jordan, Utah. A very snowy West Jordan, Utah this week. Uh, we're excited to be back with another all-new episode. I even got a haircut for you guys. And speaking of that, do you get frustrated by not being able to like repeatedly get the same person? Like, I found a barber I really liked and then got, a, got him a couple times, went back the third, third or fourth time just a couple days ago and think he's going to be there. He's supposed to be there, but then they're like, oh, so-and-so had to go to the airport to pick up his new snake. And you're like, what? I'm like, so then you end up getting Bertha, the new chick in the corner who just started, and she like kind of knows that, so a little iffy, but I did it for you so I could look sharp. But let's get into it this week. We're going to start with Badlands Tech Talk. We get a lot of questions about what makes Badlands gear different. We don't talk a whole lot about what other brands are doing, but we love to discuss and show you what we do and what makes Badlands gear different. So we wanted to point out a few things that we've been doing for 25 years on Badlands gear that we know you value. Let me grab this Badlands Super Day pack. Badlands was built on the ideas of quality and an unconditional lifetime warranty. Had the same factory for over 20 years. Nobody can build a Badlands pack like we can. Trust me, some have tried to knock them off and failed miserably. Wow. But it starts with attention to detail, materials, everything like that. This is called KXO32 fabric. We developed that because we couldn't find a fabric that did what we wanted it to do, that was quiet, durable, still lightweight, waterproof. All of that stuff we needed it to be. We couldn't find a fabric on the market, so we created it ourselves. Why KXO32? Because it took us 32 tries, 32 versions, before we got it exactly how we wanted it. Wow. So most of the Badlands packs feature that KXO32 fabric. Other things like Hypalon, this black material, that comes from the industrial gasket world. Wow. Nobody was putting that on backpacks 25 years ago. Badlands started doing that because it's ultra tough. We put it at stress points where you're getting uh, tugs and poles. That stuff's not going to rip or tear. Hypalon, something we use in a ton of our products. The yellow thread you see on a lot of Badlands products, that's called Aramid thread. One strand of that thread can hold up to 100 pounds of weight. Wow. Why is it yellow, you ask? It comes as a yellow thread and is actually, until recently, uh, you couldn't dye that thread another color because it was so dense and tough. Recently, we've figured out how to do that, but that's why you've seen that yellow thread on Badlands products pretty much since day one. But so many things uh, go into it. Every stitch point where two seams are joined together is triple stitched. Wow. That's what gives you the longevity of a Badlands pack, the quality, the long lastedness, is that a word, of Badlands products. But again, it all comes back to that lifetime unconditional warranty. We take that so seriously. Trust me, we would not be in business for 25 years if we were having to replace every single pack that went out the door. They come back for repairs, they go back out. It's an amazing process. We love seeing packs that are 20 years old still coming in for repairs and still in awesome shape. It speaks to the quality of the product. And like I said, that's all we can do is speak to the quality of our product. But to demonstrate the warranty, I'm gonna do a little incognito call here to Badlands headquarters and ask them about the warranty. Let's see how this goes. Trust me, we did not plan this beforehand. This could go horribly wrong. Badlands, Nate. Hey, Nate, this is uh, Brock up in uh, Montana. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? Doing well, buddy. Hey, um, I'm trying to make some gear decisions for my hunts this year. Um, I'm between a couple different brands, but I, I always hear about the Badlands uh, warranty. I wanted you to kind of explain that to me if you could. No, basically we cover it for life of the product. If you do anything to it, we'll cover it. Like uh, manufacture defects and stuff like that, or? You burn it, you burn it, shoot it, drag it behind a four-wheeler, smash it in the door, you do anything. You paint it, you, you cut it with a knife, you, a grizzly bear comes and 
rips it apart, we'll cover it no matter what. So is that on uh, packs only or all the gear? Everything with the Badlands um, name or bolt go on it. And what's the process for doing that if you have to turn something in? If you go online to our website at badlandspacks.com, in the top right corner, you're going to see a warranty tab. Select that warranty tab and it'll walk you through an RMA process and then at the end it'll give you an address and where to send it. Okay, that's pretty amazing. Um, okay, I'm going to keep shopping around, but thanks for the information. Yes, sir. Absolutely. No problem. If you have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call. Thank you. Wow. Did he know that was me? Maybe? I don't think so. But yeah, that's Nate, our customer service specialist, giving his warranty spiel. It's no joke. Truly unconditional. Lifetime. We believe that much in the product, the packs, the clothing, accessories everything covered by that, but that's a little look into the quality and the warranty that we believe in so much here at Badlands. Oh. Moving on to some industry news. Last week we were able to attend the Western Hunting and Conservation Expo here in Salt Lake City. Uh, it's a great expo where people go to buy their supplements for the year, their flat brim hats, and uh, get a lot of autographs. That's what it's all about. But No, it's really about raising a lot of money. Uh, it's a great show. We got to go down there, catch up with a bunch of our friends, and we also tried our own hand at doing a Badlands Rack Attack autograph signing booth. Check out how it went. My name is Henry Ferguson. I was born a poor black child. No, that's not right. That's the beginning of the jerk. Sorry. <laughs> My name is Henry Ferguson. I'm from Colorado. I've been using Badlands packs since 2004. The reason I, oh, that's a great, great question, because I dang near killed myself trying to get a deer out the old fashioned way, which was putting a big stick between the deer's legs and tying them on there and uh, trying to carry them out. It didn't go very well, and uh, I still have some lingering shoulder problems as a result of that night. So like most lessons in life, best learned the hard way. Muley Slayer came from Jeremy Duggar. My, I started off as a pro staff, pro shop shooter in New Mexico. And I walked in the door one day and Jeremy just said, hey Slayer, what's up? And then somebody else popped off, Muley Slayer, and it's been like that forever. I mean, since back in the late 90s and then 2013. Yeah, 2013 I started a Facebook called Muley Slayer. in the Algus clothing? It's a 2200 NASA. pack. <laughs> um, What's the NASA technology that's used as a liner in the Algus clothing line? Bamboo. <laughs> yeah. These guys are the worst. All we know is it works. Yeah. <laughs> what color is it? What color is what? The liner. The liner? With the Algus stuff. Oh, it's kind of a tan Flat color. green. <laughs> Approach color. <laughs> the liner? <laughs> I promise these guys are pro staff. <laughs> What's bad is we've been here like longer than any of the other guys. It's blue. Oh, it is. And it's called Cool Touch. It is. Oh, okay, yeah. blue Cool Touch. Can you ask that again and edit that out? I only have prototypes. That's what I've got. <laughs> we just get samples. I don't remember mine being blue. I thought it was orange. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Lord Buchner, to be hunting safaris. I'm a professional hunter in South Africa. And Blake and Badlands work lekker saam. Ons doen goed in Afrika en ons dra Badlands kleren. Ek is mal over, ek jaag lekker in Badlands kleren. Blake en van sy vriende het saam oorgekom een paar jaar terug en hulle het een paar lekker goede saam met ons gedoen. Ons het baie fun gehad, verskrikke, was vrek lekker geweest. En om net al hierdie klomp Badlands kleren te dra en het maak dat niemand jou kan sien nie, niks kan jou sien nie. En uh, yes, jy kom tot baie na by aan die dieren. Ek bedoel, as jy net kyk na van die Badlands kleren, jy soos van het, kyk hoe like het. Dit is net, dit is klassiek, dit is amazing. Ek bedoel, Badlands, Blake, dit is, dit is ongelooflik, dit is baie lekker, ja. Oh man, 
The visor is the ultimate hunting cap. And if you don't realize that, I'll give you a couple of reasons why that is. First of all, you can see totally concealed. Breaks up the human head, breaks up the outline, but it breathes. See, it breathes and this is, this is great. So when you're working your butt off, getting up that mountain, that's gonna get you cooled off just that much faster. I don't see why everybody doesn't hunt with one. There's only one reason I work with Badlands. It's because of Blake over there, the marketing director. He's a really cool guy. He's got a really nice beard. I like him a lot. The Badlands warranty in one word. Unconditional. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. And that's my favorite word. <laughs> You gotta let him finish the question. No, not if I know it. <laughs> and you didn't say what is. What he said what is. Rack what? I, I, I'm not familiar with what you're talking about, Blake. What, what do you mean? I started using Badlands packs in 1998. Uh, I was started backcountry. That's when I started high country mule deer hunting and I needed a good pack. Was Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Most used in well, Utah, Mon Montana, Utah. Do you have the sales data know, right now? Data. <laughs> you can look that up and put it right here. My favorite thing about Badlands Rack Attack is it's a, just a great way to make fun of yourself, and it's just a great way for people to make fun of Blake. And it's a great way just to have a good time when you wake up and you're like scrolling through social media and you're like man it's the same oh oh wait rack attack new rack attack it just puts you in a good mood it's fun to watch and it's uh it keeps the action live quick quick little snippets you learn some things you didn't know about the brands about the industry about products about techniques but it's also entertaining so it's just a, it's different it's unique nobody else is doing something like that that's why i love it rack attack rack attack rack attack hey how how's it going i'm the host of uh badlands rack attack Okay, uh, yeah. if you give me a dollar, I'll ask him for your autograph. You want me to pay you? Yeah. For not... So there's a little glimpse into what we got into at the Western Hunt Expo, caught up with some old friends. Uh, it was both very informative and extremely humiliating at the same time. <sighs> I'll have to recover from that terrible ego hit. Uh, this week we have a viewer video that was sent in by Devin Thane of Riverton, Utah. So Devin, hit us with your question. What's going on Badlands? First off, just wanted to say how much I love your products. Excuse my whispering, but I'm out here in the field waiting for some geese to fly over me. But I thought this would be a good time to ask a question to you. We got we drew for the turkey hunt coming up here in April. And I was wondering what your best recommendations for some gear would be. You know, some under underclothes gear and then some outer gear, because typically rains at that time. And then my second question is, do you have any plans for some uh, additional hats or beanies from the lineup that you already have? Appreciate everything. You guys are the best. Much love. Thank you, Devin, for sending in that viewer video and that question. Apparently, Devin forgot to wear his Badlands gear that he loved so much that day that he shot that video. But thank you for the question about turkey season. We're gonna show you a few pieces that we'd recommend you get into uh, for those turkey seasons. So a few things, of course it depends how you're gonna be hunting, but uh, anything in a blind uh, where you wanna be darked out, blacked out, something like that. We do have the merino wool pieces that are dark. I've worn these in a lot of ground blinds. Um, they work great, moisture wicking, quick dry, very comfortable, lightweight, awesome piece uh, for turkey hunting or any kind of hunting done out of a ground blind. Also, we're always going to recommend the Algus or Altitude Net Gaiters. Uh, they're in two weights. There's a lightweight and a heavier weight. Again, perfect for covering your face, uh, pull up over your neck, head, perfect concealment, comfortable. Again, quick dry, uh, moisture wicking, awesome piece there. Another great piece, especially if it's a little warm out or moderate temperatures, is the Elevation Top. 
um, in approach, it would be the Calor quarter zip top, but again, the heat wave uh, lining gives you just a little bit of warmth, knocks back the cold, super comfortable, quiet, concealing, uh, available in Approach FX or Approach Camo. And you asked about uh, protection from the elements as well. Something like a Catalyst jacket in the Approach line, it's the Exo jacket, but super packable, lightweight rain gear, very quiet for rain gear. Uh, again, it's going to knock back the elements, 100% waterproof, waterproof zippers, tape seams, hood, perfect for turkey hunting, running and gunning. It's going to protect you from the elements, be quiet, durable, awesome at the same time. Packs down to a little package about that small. You can throw it in your backpack, throw it on when you need it. That's the Catalyst or Exo set. So those are a few pieces you can use on your turkey hunt. Uh, obviously, we have the stealth pieces coming with the built-in hoods and the face masks, but those will be a little bit into the spring or summer. You might miss the early turkey season with those. Um, but yeah, thank you for sending in the viewer video. We're gonna send you, for doing that, your choice of elevation or Calora quarter zip top, and your choice of net gaiter and beanie so you can stay concealed on that turkey hunt you'll be going on. Thanks, Devin. <laughs> Moving on to the segment we call What Say Ye? What are your questions and comments from last week's video? We go back, we read all those, we try to comment and reply to all those, so thank you for sending those in. Blaze Goobler asked, when can I get my hands on the Vario pack? It's a good question and we're hearing it a lot. We're working hard to get that out, get it finished and completed and on the shelves. But yes, that should be a mid to late summer launch ahead of all your big game seasons. You're gonna be able to pick up the whole Vario pack system customize it exactly how you want and get it out in the field. But yes, coming summer 2019. Eric Herman said, got sick at the Orlando airport. <laughs> and I couldn't make it to see you guys in Harrisburg. So bummed out, but these episodes help. We're glad we could help you out, Eric. We're gonna send you your very own bottle of Pepto-Bismol. I also had some nasty Chinese for lunch, so. Oh, and take a healthy swig there. Get blocked up for the rest of the day. Uh, finally, Jesse Tuning of Wyoming said, would be an awesome jacket. Talking about last week's drive jacket that we were going to give away. Maybe more quiet than my current jacket, so my husband won't complain about my loudness anymore. Well, we are going to help you out, Jesse. We're going to give you that drive jacket that we featured last week, and hopefully your husband will be... Not only nicer to you, but jealous of your new Badlands Drive jacket. So thank you for sending in the comment. Uh, that's what say ye for this week. Moving on to free stuff. <laughs> Yours and our favorite segment. We love giving stuff away here on Badlands Rack Attack. And as you've seen, we've been featuring the Badlands pile of free stuff that's growing and growing each week. We've added to it every week as we've given something away to you. We've added another to the pile. That thing's real close to toppling over. This might be the last item we add before giving the pile away. It was missing a good pair of pants. So the Badlands Rise pant comes in Approach and Approach FX as seen here. Super quiet fabric, mid-weight, not too heavy, not too light, just kind of the perfect mid-season pant. Again, durable, quiet, awesome, dependable. The Rise pant, there's also a Rise jacket and vest, even complete the ensemble. But this is gonna make that pile uh, full. Pants, jackets, packs, bino cases. That prize is going to somebody really soon, but we are giving away a Rise pant to somebody who comments or asks a question this week in the comments below. And again, stay tuned for the pile of free stuff giveaway coming very soon. We'll announce that shortly. That is about all we have for Badlands Rack Attack this week. Thanks again for watching, spending some time with us. Again, send in your comments, questions, viewer videos. You might just win something awesome. Also, subscribe and share, share, share. We don't want the powers the be that be to shut us down because we're not getting enough views. That would be heartbreaking. So watch Rack Attack, subscribe, share. Have a good one. We'll catch you next time. Rack Attack.